probably expect to come in as early as you did today. Um, no, you never play to come in and uh, you know start warming up in the first inning. But uh, you know when your number's called, you just got to be ready, and that's kind of the mo of this this pitching staff. Is you know it doesn't matter what your previous role was or, or how you did um, in any of your previous outings. Like when your number's called, you got to be ready to come in and execute now. What's been working so well for you down this stretch? Um, the defense, really. You know, I, I haven't really changed a whole lot, and um, you know the bad outings, the good outings. It's just the results. Um, get a lot of weak contact. Um, the pitches, you know, I haven't been perfect by any means, but the defense has been absolutely incredible behind me. I don't think I've had any errors behind me or anything in the last, you know, eight outings. Team gives up a couple of runs in the first, but then comes back big in the bottom of the inning. When you go out to the mound, knowing that the offense can crank like that, how does that make you feel? I mean, it's it's nice when you see the offense, you know, put up five runs in an inning or six runs. Um, you just know you got to get them back in the dugout because, you know, they're all, you know, salivating out there in the field thinking about the next at bat. So I want to be the guy that gets them back in um, so they can score more. 41 pitches if your number's called. What do you think on Saturday? I mean, I'm, I'm absolutely ready. I'm down to, uh, you know, I count down the days. You know, I only get one left. You know, I'm only guaranteed one more game. So if they say, you know, get ready, go in, I'm, I'm there. With the run rule and the way the pitching staff has been used through the first three games, you're in as good a position as you could be from an arm standpoint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's that's a lot of confidence um, for everybody else that's, that hasn't pitched. You know, Kyle Kramer hasn't even touched the mound yet. That's been one, one of our most consistent um, guys all year. Um, and I know everybody that hasn't pitched or pitched on Tuesday didn't pitch today. Like, they're all ready to go. You lose that first game, put you in that difficult position, lose and you go home. What is the feeling? What's that sense of urgency? Um, I think a lot of it um, came from some of the younger guys on the team um, realizing that people like myself and um, Will Saxton and Trent Taylor, uh, Noah and Riley, like we're, we're at our last potential game here. Um, so I feel a lot of love from, from everybody on the team. They, they don't want us to go. You know, I don't want to go, and, and it feels nice that they don't want us to go either. And that's kind of what I'm feeling from the team and the energy. Um, when you don't want to let those older guys go, it's, it, can, it can lead you to special things. You've given a lot to this team through the years. You, you just said it there. You don't want to go yet, do you? No, I don't, I don't want to go. I want to ring. Um, you know, I've been playing here for five years. I've, I've got a bunch of pictures. i got a bunch of memories. Um, i got the jersey they gave me on senior night. But, you know, I need some, some moments um, that will live with this program forever. I want to ring uh, something to show for, you know, my kids, you know, down the line. That's, that's what I want because some of those memories are going to fade away. You can keep the pictures and, and the jersey, but I want a freaking ring. What's it going to take? It's all hands on deck. You know, when your number's called, go up there and, and, and get after it, whether you're a position player or a pitcher. Like, if you think that you're not going to play a role in, in us winning a championship, um, you're wrong, whether it's on the field or on the bench. Like, everybody can offer something. Everybody gets a ring, whether you're, you're even here or you're, you're back home in, in Orlando right now watching on TV. If you're part of the team, you're going to get a ring. So everybody needs to help in any way possible to, to make it happen. You guys went to Houston two weeks ago, took two out of three. What do you expect from them? Um, I mean, <laughs> I'm not the one that does the scattering reports. You know, I just go out there when my number's called and, and throw the pitches that the Audi calls. Um, you know, you can't expect our, our offense to put up 15 runs every game. So... I would love for them to do that, but you know, I'd like to see the fishing staff uh, dominate a game again and uh, win by any means possible. Price, price, we could have been. Lynch, um, Coach talked about how you had your struggles in the middle of the season. How important was your work after afterwards to get you to the point where you got had this late season stretch where you started to go multiple innings again, and now you're the winning pitcher in the conference tournament? Yeah. Um, Definitely struggled a little bit uh, mentally, a little, little lacking a little bit of self confidence there in the middle of the season when you're not getting the results you wanted. You're in your last year of baseball. You obviously have a, a plan on how you want it to go, and, and obviously that's not how I expected it to go. Um, I think I got a little bit complacent with my work throughout the week, so finally realized like I need to change something. I need to change something now. Um, you can't keep doing the same thing and expecting different results. Um, so I just put my head down, worked. Um, just to get back to doing what I do best, which is going out there, get a bunch of ground balls, and let the defense uh, get me out of these innings. You talked about how you, if your number gets called tomorrow, you got to go out there. What do you think this pitching staff, including yourself, needs to do tomorrow in order to get not one but two wins? 
to happen to advance forward? Uh, I mean, you got to throw a lot of strikes. You don't want to run your pitch count up and get deep into the bullpen um, in the first game. So, you know, I'd like to see a lot of first pitch strikes. And, um, you know, just like I said, hopefully the defense helps you out when those balls get put in play. Keep the pitch count down and uh, use as little guys as possible. What would it mean to you? What does it mean to you to see this team rally the way that it has to keep from going home in your last in your, in your last season? I mean, I'm, I'm so happy um, after losing the first one. Everyone's disappointed. And it's it's starting to hit me where it's like, oh man, I am I is this it? You know, because uh, I pitched on Tuesday night and I was like, man, that might have been my last one. Um, so the way this team has rallied and they came back, especially the offense, it's it's unbelievable. It makes me it makes me really happy. I mean, between you, Noah, and Trent, the senior class has really been having some standout moments in this conference tournament. How important has this been for the five for the five of you in this last run, as well as the three of you who've been putting up some bright, some nice highlights? Yeah, and uh, we've been spending a lot of time together outside the field. Um, but like I said, when, when the clock's ticking and, and you don't know if it's your last at bat or your last outing, uh, man, it, it's easy to focus and, and bring your best stuff every single time. So, what, what what do you think this team this team will need to do in order to get pa get past tomorrow and hopefully do a proper championship? Uh, pitching staff's got to throw a lot of strikes. Defense got to make the plays, and the offense got to put together a bunch of good at bats. And uh, you know, just all hands on deck. Everybody, everybody, do your job. And, Ben, you guys get down a couple runs, but then the bats start clicking. Talk about your big blast in that. Yeah, yeah, no, it felt great. Um, you know, coming into today, I think I was hitless in the tournament, um, and then I finally got the big hit there, but I couldn't do it without the guys in front of me, you know. Um, one through one through four in front of me, getting on base, and it was a huge home run. Uh, Tom getting on base, and then just allowed me to do my thing. Um, and we were five batters into the game with, uh, with no outs. And, uh, Five run lead, so that was awesome. Describe your home run. Uh, you know, I wasn't sure if it was gone off uh, uh, off the bat because I hit an identical one on uh, Tuesday, and it was in the park. Um, but once I saw it going, I knew the wind picked it up, and, and it just went. So uh, I was that was nice to have that one go because I wasn't sure off the bat there. Twenty seven runs the last two, thirty three through this tournament. How is this offense performing so well? We're doing great, you know. We're just trying to put together good at bats, quality at bats, uh, and just pass the bat. Not worry about success. Um, as long as we put together a good at bat, uh, then results speak for themselves. It's a little harder when you stumble and you're in that loser's bracket. What's the sense of urgency now? You lose, you go home. How does that motivate you and your teammates? Yeah, you know, I think we're all a little disappointed after the loss on Tuesday. Um, kind of woke us up, and you know, in our hitters meeting, uh, Coach Ted Tom fired us up a little bit. Uh, and I think everyone was just kind of like, all right, like, you know, this is the time. You know, back's against the wall, loser, go home, and we've got to show up. And, and that's what we've been doing. And Coach just said that when a guy like Lich comes in, shuts down the other team, you guys are anxious. You want to keep piling on runs to, to help your pitching staff as well. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, when you got a dude on the mound that just keeps, you know, one, two, three innings, allows us to go out there and do our thing uh, hitting-wise, uh, it, it's just awesome. It keeps us off the field. Uh, it keeps us uh, hitting at the plate. You just saw Houston. What's the scouting report? What do you expect from these guys? Uh, you know they're a really good team. Um, they swing well. They pitch well. Uh, but I think we're just going to go play play the game. Um, play toe-to-toe. -to -toe. We're going to pitch with them. We're going to hit with them. Uh, I think it's going to be a really good game to ball. Bryson, Bryson. And what would you say is, was different about these batters going up at, between today's game and Tuesday that helped you get a better outcome this time? Yeah, you know, I wouldn't say too much is different. Uh, I like to say that, but I think we had a little chip on our shoulder after that loss on Tuesday. Uh, like I said, we were all pretty disappointed in uh, the outcome. We all wanted to win that game. We think we should have won that game. Um, but just coming in today, you know, we kind of wanted some revenge. Uh, so we had that chip on our shoulder, and uh, it came in our favor today. Certainly helps that you got that got that home run. Did you get a chance to notice how far it went once you got around the bases? Yeah, I had a couple guys uh, tell me in the dugout after. I didn't didn't really see because I was more so looking at Love because he was uh, you know firing me up a bit. Uh, but after I saw it, it was uh, it was good. But I, I think like I said earlier, I think the wind helped me out today. You managed to hit four four RBIs at the end of the day. How important, how important was it to get all those runs in so that way? You can sit. That way, you guys can save some arms by playing less innings. Oh, you know that's huge. Um, obviously, being in the losers bracket means you got to play more games. Um, so we got to save as many arms as we can. But as an offense to put up that many runs uh, and allow us the ten run rule and only play seven, uh, we get to save some of our, our, our better arms and uh, utilize those guys tomorrow because you know we got to play two games if we want to win this thing. So 
uh, it was a huge help for today, and I think it's going to help us a lot tomorrow. Yeah, speaking of, speaking of tomorrow, you got to win twice. What do you think you, get, you guys as batters are going to need to do in order to muster in order to pull off that double win? Yeah, like I said, I think we're just going to put uh, together quality at bats. Um, as we just focus on the present, putting together a good at bat, um, you know, they'll pile up and the results will carry. So uh, as long as we're just in the present playing our game, I think our hitters going to do a great job tomorrow. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks.